Hello, YouTube. Well, good news. I got my duplex ran. Um, bad news. Well, it's not really bad news. Uh, I got the repeater. If you've been watching my videos, I'm going to do that distance test by having that mobile GMRS 2A radio uh, repeater set up that's on my trailer. I'm going to be doing a test with that, putting it on the bluff. And then drive around for distance tests. So I don't want to unmount the repeater from the rack. Um, so I'm going to wait till after I'm done with that test. And then I can go ahead and unmount the repeater. Because i got to figure out the layout, how I'm going to do this. Because there's a couple things we got to keep in mind. One, I need to keep the patch cables... I don't know if you want to call them patch cables, short as possible from the repeater to this duplexer. This duplexer is a lot bigger, obviously, than the repeater itself. Secondly, I need to keep in mind the amplifier because I want to do a test uh, with this duplexer with the stock repeater, a distance test, see if it, you know, see if I lose any distance compared to it without being modified. And then I'm going to do a, a distance test using the stock repeater with the amplifier hooked up to the duplexer. That's the plan. Now, it's going to be a, little, a few weeks yet because the reason being is because first I got to lay out the repeater. I got to figure out how, how I'm going to do this because I got to order cables. This repeater uses N connectors, so I'm going to need a male end connector on one end of the cable and on the other end of the cable if I remember correctly it's a, a, a male SMA that's on the repeater uh, inside the repeater so I gotta figure out the length with the amplifier and without the amplifier now on that repeater if you remember there's silver plugs I wish I had the repeater in front of me but if you guys have one there's silver plugs that they threaded in there just to block the holes there's some holes on there i'm hoping to unthread one of those and run my cables out to the duplexer obviously unhook the duplexer that's inside the repeater and then run my cables out i'll do a video on my layout once i'm able to get the repeater off the rack um but there's a couple things we got to be we got to you know like i said we got to keep the cables real short and then if you hook up the amplifier we may have to turn down the wattage using the software on the repeater because if I remember correctly, that amplifier can only handle either 2 to 7 watts input. And if that repeater is putting out 10 watts, that's too much. we got to turn it down. So we can use the software, and I'll, I'll go through all that. Like I said, we, you know, first things first, we got to figure out what cables we're going to need. we got to figure out... Um, how I'm going to lay this. Am I going to put the repeater on top of here and just run the cables out to the low and high? And then maybe, I'm not sure yet. I don't need to mount all this in a box, in a big box. I don't need to do that. However, if you're planning on putting, if you're planning on doing a modification like this, and you want to have the duplexer, the repeater, and the amplifier and all that outside, if it's not going to be inside of a building, you're going to you know throw it on top of a hill or something. Then you're going to have to put all you know put it all all this in a box of some sort that's kind of water resistant, um, just so that because once I start modifying the repeater and having the cables come out of it, obviously it's not water resistant anymore. So you you could use anything for a box. You can make a wooden box. You could use a a a, a tote, a plastic tote, I suppose, from Walmart. To put all this in here, long as it's it's kind of you know it's got a good good seal on the lid so water don't get in. But my testing purposes, I'm going to be testing this off the bench, the workbench. So I'm not going to worry about a box, and I can't worry about a box until I know how I'm going to lay this out. So, any rate, this is a 50 watt duplexer. This is the cheapest one I could find online. Now. Perhaps I didn't look good enough. I don't know. But this came all the way from overseas. Took a month, I think, to get here. So 
we'll see. We'll see how good this works. Um, they already tuned it, and I can tell it was tuned because I can see on the threads, the threads were painted, so they obviously someone did unscrew this, so this has been tuned. Um, like I said, this is a 50 watt duplexer. Now, just because it's 50 watts, I wouldn't be pumping 50 watts through it. I would probably try to keep it about 45 watts. Just that's what I would probably do just to kind of extend the life of this. Now, I don't remember if the website set the dimensions on this or not. But I'm going to tell you, if it did, it's probably in millimeters or some, some way. So I'm just going to kind of give you a ballpark so that you know. Um, the width or how tall it is, I guess if you want to say it like that, is to this bracket here. From the top of there, well, there's actually another bracket there. I, I'm not including that. I'm not including this piece here uh, with the with the holes for mounting. I'm just including the case, I guess. It depends on you know, depends on what you want to do. Is you want to split hairs, I guess. But overall, seven and a half tall width. That's about say seven and a half. Two looks like seven and a half. And how thick it is, is going to be, inch and three quarter maybe, kind of hard to hold all this, but you kind of get the idea, I'll just kind of hold it there, it's kind of hard to hold all this while knocking things over, but anyways, you kind of get the idea, so this is a lot, which I knew, because it's 50 watt, you know, remember the, the, the duplex inside the Revis RT97, that's only a 10 watt, duplexer so that's going to be a lot smaller but that's all right we can modify it not a big deal so once i get this other video done which hopefully within the next couple weeks i get the distance test on the bluff video done then i can go ahead and yank the repeater out of that rack and then i can go ahead and try to lay it on here and figure out which is the shortest way to run the the cables maybe i'll do a video on that we can kind of brainstorm together per se um but that's the plan oh and i did get my connectors in to, for making antennas so parts are slowly coming in now i like i said before i don't have the cables for this yet i can't do that until i figure out what length i need and i can't figure out the length until i have the repeater and the amplifier that's also mounted in the rack i gotta unmount all that and then we can lay this out and then we can kind of figure out what length. We want to keep the cables short as possible. That's the, you want them short as possible. So maybe I might mount the repeater down, you know, if I slide this up here. Mount the repeater down here. On, take one of those silver plugs out and run the cables out to there. Then maybe I can put the amplifier right above here. Leave a space in between for, for heat dissipation. Maybe if I made like a little rat coming off. And I can mount the amplifier up here, have the repeater right down here, have the cables coming out, and then I can just unscrew the cable and then screw on to the for the um, uh, for the uh, amplifier to go in. Um, so that that's one thought I have. I don't know if I want to set the repeater on here. I could to make it so it's not so big this way, but we'll have to see. We'll have to lay with it, you know, lay it out and play with it. Um, so there you have it. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please post down below. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll, I'll post a link to this duplexer. Like I said, it was the cheapest one I could find that's new. Maybe you can buy used ones if, if you want, I guess. Only bad about used, you need it tuned. So unless the person you buy it from can tune it. So And this came obviously with free you know, tuning, you tell them what frequency. So that's why I got a new one. I don't have a way of tuning it. But hopefully, maybe perhaps with that nano VNA, there might be some tuning, but that's a whole other video. At any rate, so please subscribe. Have a good day, and thank you.